Do you find your task manager to be way too full with lots and lots of projects that you obviously cannot all work on at the same time? Then you might want to offload some of those projects into a different app so that you don't forget about them, but that they are also not cluttering up your day-to-day -day view. In this video, I'll teach you how to do this using Notion. Hey folks, my name is Peter Akis and I teach people how to be more organized and more productive. This video is an excerpt from my course, Big Picture Productivity, which lives over at bigpictureproductivity.com. That course is all about consistently setting and achieving your goals. And a big part of that is identifying those key projects, the ones that will really move you towards your goals. If you don't yet know much about the difference between goals and projects, hey, this is a course for you too. But in this video, I'll be showing you a way to store some of your projects that are maybe not the ones that you're gonna be working on anytime soon in an app like Notion. It's not really about Notion. It's just to get these projects, if they're not the ones you're gonna be working on soon, out of your task manager and somewhere else where we keep track of them and we can link them up to the goals that they contribute to, but so that they're not cluttering up your task manager so that you can focus on the projects that you're working on right now, but still keep track of those projects that you're gonna work on later. So it's really kind of the best of both worlds. So this video is, is a video from the course Big Picture Productivity and I'm sharing it here as a preview for you so that you can get a sense of what it's like to take the course. Enjoy! So now that you know what actionable projects are and now that you've gotten some practice in making sure that your actionable projects have the right scope, let's go ahead and put those projects into Notion as well. And we will also link them up to your goals which are already in Notion. So what, the way we're gonna get started here is we're just gonna click new page at the bottom left and you're gonna call it projects and this will be a table as well. Now, I like to drag this above goals but it uh, doesn't really matter that much. And so we've got this empty projects table right here so let's start setting up the correct columns. Now this second column called tags, we're gonna actually change that to status and again that's going to be a select. Now. I recommend having the following statuses, failed, uh, dropped, not started, in progress, and completed. Okay, so you can just go ahead and X out of those. Okay, failed, dropped, not started, in progress, and completed. So a goal or a project probably starts out as a not started, it may be in progress, and then you may either complete it, you may drop it, or it may fail. I mean, sometimes you just have a project and it just it just doesn't go well. <laughs> so uh, that's totally fine that happens. You just wanna ac accurately uh, capture life here. Um, we're gonna have a notes column as well, cause, uh, and let's make that text, because sometimes you do have some notes. Then we're gonna use this cool feature in Notion called a template. And so the way to do that is that you actually click the little um, arrow here and you click new template. Now I'll show you what that's gonna do in a second, but um, just bear with me here. Now we're gonna call this um, project template and we're gonna start writing here. And what we're gonna start writing is how will this project help me achieve my goals or my goal? And what you can do is select that select that and then this uh, hover uh, panel shows up turn it into a heading and then leave some space to write and do another one and say uh, what do i want this project's outcome to look like so again select that oh, select the whole thing turn it into a heading and then I like to divide this up into physically, it'll look like this, emotionally, it'll look like that, and financially, it'll look like that. Okay, so you can just go ahead and make all those bold maybe, create some spaces, all right. Now what we're gonna do is click out here. Now rather than just adding your project to this table by clicking here and starting to type uh, example project, we're not gonna do this. Um, whoops, just uh, delete that. 
Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to click this arrow here and click project template. And what it will do is it'll add a project to your table, but that project will have a page built in and that page will have the things that we just, um, that we just typed in. So an example project, okay, might be to hire a virtual assistant. And then you can just click out of this. Um, and now you'll see that this is an example project. But if you click on this open as page button here, you can actually start typing um, your answers to this question. So I like to do this because reflecting on how your project will help you achieve your goal is crucial. I mean, if you cannot like articulate how your project will help you achieve your goal, then why are you doing this project to begin with, right? Um, and it really also helps to think about what the project's outcome is going to look like. Like, what is it physically going to look like? You're going to build something, you're going to ship something. Emotionally, what is it going to look like? I mean, how is it going to make you feel? Um, and financially, what is it going to look like? If this is related to money, are you going to make a certain amount with it? Is it going to cost you some money as an investment, right? Um, and those are questions you'll want to answer as you add each project. But of course, like I, I've been talking about goals and we've got to link these projects up to goals first. So we're going to go ahead and click plus. And again, we're going to add a relation. So we're just going to add relation, select the database. And we're going to select the goals database, click create relation, just rename this to goals. Um, and again, it can be uh, one or more goals, probably want to drag that before notes. So I'm going to go back to goals here and I'm going to actually add a goal and I'm going to say minimize the time and energy I spend on tedious work. Let's say that's my goal or one of my goals. And this is not one of those goals that you can really achieve at some point, like how minimal, right? Um, so I'm gonna call this never ending. This is kind of something that I don't like doing tedious work. I think by definition, nobody likes doing tedious work. That's what makes it tedious. And so this is a goal that's never ending, but that's fine. Um, what are my values? Maybe my one of my values here is freedom. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I want to do this. Now go back to projects and hire a virtual assistant. One of the reasons I want to do that is because I want to minimize the time and energy I spend on tedious work. So I'll outsource it. So you can just click your plus there and you'll see that now this is linked up. And if you go back to goals, you'll see that it actually created this column called related to projects. I like to hide this. I don't like to see this here. So you can actually click properties and uh, where it says related to projects, you could just toggle it and uh, toggle it off and it'll be gone. So back in projects over here, now this goal or this project hire a virtual assistant is tied to this goal. My goal is to minimize the time and energy I spend on tedious work. My actionable project to make that happen is to hire a virtual assistant. So we can set the status here. Um, and let's say I have not started that yet. Now again, I can click open this page here. And then if I click open this page, what I'll see is actually here are these, um, the status is also listed here. The notes are also listed here as is the goal at the top, but I've got this information at the bottom that I can fill out. So let's um, fill out the answers. And I want you to do this too. Every time you add a project, right? Remember to add it this way as with this project template right here. So just click like this and it'll add another one, right? Um, I want you to do it that way rather than just starting to type here because if you start to type here then it will not have that template stuff included. So let's just uh, delete the empty rows. Click open. How will this project of hiring a virtual assistant help me achieve my goal? I will outsource the tedious tasks to the VA instructing the VA and reviewing his work will take me less time and energy than doing the work myself. That's how it will help me minimize the time and energy. This is a pretty simple example, but you get the point. It's really good to be able to articulate this clearly. Now, what do I want this project's outcome to look like physically? Um, physically could be a number of things. So it could be physically in your body. It could be physically like you're creating a physical product. So in my case, physically, I'm thinking of this more in like a body sense. Um, I feel less stressed because I'm doing less tedious work. Tedious work tends to stress me out and I'm expecting to have less of it because of this. So real simple. Emotionally, emotionally, I free up 
a lot of energy that allows me to do more creative work and that makes me feel more proud than doing tedious work. It's an example of uh, the emotional outcome if I complete this project of hiring a virtual assistant financially by doing more of the high value work myself and outsourcing the low value work I'll make more money. That may be a financial outcome of this particular project. As you can see, this is pretty simple, but like forcing yourself to articulate these answers is super powerful and really gives you clarity on why you're doing things, why you're doing projects in this case. So that's a project. Now, one thing I like to do is make it easy to navigate projects and goals. So if we're just gonna go back to goals here. Notion is this cool, feature where you can add different views so you can look at your data in different ways. So let me just get rid of these empty rows. I'm going to add a view and I'm going to call it um, goals without projects. And you can just keep table selected here and click create. And now you'll see we have two views. One is the default view and one is the goals without projects. I'm just going to click the ellipses here and rename the default view and say all goals. But we're in the goals without projects view right now. And I'm going to go click filter click add a filter and I'm going to say related to projects um, is empty. And what you'll see is we had four goals just now and now one dropped. The minimize the time and energy I spend on tedious work goal, it's gone. If I go to all goals, it's still here. But if I go to goals without projects, it's not because it has a project. We connected this particular project to this particular goal. Okay. So, um, that is how you list your actionable projects in Notion. So what I'd like you to do now is replicate the setup if you haven't already done it, and then go through each of your goals. And for each goal, ask yourself, what are the actionable projects I already have in mind? And add those projects here in the list. Now this may take a little time. Remember to, to add it with a project template so that you, you will be answering those questions, right? So just click here. Um, name your project connected to a goal. You can just do that right here, right? Maybe add some notes, do the status. It's probably gonna be either not started or in progress. Um, and then answer these questions and then click out of it and do it again. And so just do the actionable projects that you can think of right now that maybe have already been floating around in your mind for each of your goals. So no need to start making up new projects that you hadn't thought of. It's totally fine if you have a bunch of goals that you do not immediately have um, actionable projects in mind for that's totally fine no problem you can't do everything all at once anyway um, and let me just give you another example real quick for something like attend a meditation retreat that's a goal like the actionable project here might be um, register for a meditation retreat right I'll link that up to the goal and the status might be in progress because I have some in mind. I just haven't chosen one yet. And I'm just going to answer these and done. Okay. Um, mate, you've already got all your goals listed. Go through each of the goals. Add any actionable projects you can think of. Don't spend too long um, trying to come up with projects for each goal. If nothing comes to mind immediately, let's just leave it. And when you've got that all set up, you can move on to the next lesson. All right, that was it. Hope you found that useful. If you did find it useful, you really want to check out Big Picture Productivity, the course. Again, it's over at bigpictureproductivity.com. You can also actually go to the link in the description below the video. You can also find a free worksheet that's part of the course that you might enjoy just to get a little bit more of a sense of what the course is about. So go ahead and do that. Um, leave a comment and tell me what you thought about this video as well. If you did like it, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to learn more about being organized and more productive, why not subscribe to the channel? And then you'll see videos uh, from me coming in. So again, check out Big Picture Productivity. I look forward to welcoming you inside the course. And in the meantime, have a fantastic day.